Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be telling you guys everything that you need to know about switching from Zim to PC, along with my personal experience and just other things that I feel that you guys need to know. Starting off with my thoughts and my experience about switching from Zim to PC is that I think that if you're looking for the next step or the next level in your gameplay and just better mouse and keyboard in general then going to PC is 100% what you need to be doing. I've only had my PC that I built for probably about two weeks now but I have felt so much more improvement in the way that I play, the way that I aim using a PC versus Zim because on Zim you have to go by the controller rules and it's just not meant for keyboard. So I think that I've definitely gotten better in the last two weeks on PC more than I think I could in a year on the Zim. One of the main things though that I think is going to be difficult for a lot of people is just how much different aiming is on PC versus Zim. On Zim you have a lot of acceleration and that is what you build your muscle memory when you use your mouse on top of. And on PC there's zero acceleration and it's precise tracking. It, depended, it depends on what game you played on the Zim, such as if you played, you know, Modern Warfare that has a lot of aim assist and a lot of acceleration, you're gonna need to work on your aim a bit when you get onto PC because you're gonna be so used to aim assist and aiming that way that you're just, it's not gonna work on PC. But if you are still on Zim right now and you're looking to switch, I highly recommend that you turn off aim assist in the settings. It is gonna help you out so much more in the future. You're gonna be thanking yourself that you did that. So far in the two weeks that I've been on PC, it's been the easiest transition and that you guys are gonna have such an easy transition coming from the Zim to the PC. You have nothing to worry about. You already have your mouse and your keyboard that you've been using, so you have nothing new you know how to use your keyboard you know how to use your mouse another issue that i think a lot of people are going to have is your sense and you cannot replicate your sins on pc you can get close but you can't replicate it because of just how different games work on the sim and how different games and different configures work that's why i recommend when you get on pc to Go in a match of Tion if you play Rambo or load into a custom game with bots if you play Modern Warfare. Any game where you can train your aim without having to actually go into a real game and to tweak your sensitivity to your liking. And while we are on the subject of aiming and training your aim, I use a really good program called Aim Labs. You can find it in Steam. I like Sorry, it a lot, there's over early, probably 50 games. Late. Every game you could think of, even Hyperscape that is still in beta, is on Aim Labs, and it's a really good program that actually helps you aim. It's kind of like Kovacs, but I believe what? that Aim Labs is better. It has yeah, a ranking system, here. and it, in general, it's just a really good app to train your aim. I've included some gameplay of aim labs and me training and i'm going to show you one of the many training like uh practices you can actually do and it's a really good program like i said before now i just got on pc basically so don't bully me for my aim or anything like that i know i'm still working on it but i think that so far aim labs has helped so much i think one of the things I struggle in right now is tracking. The flicking mode is okay, it depends. I wasn't really warm while doing these training modes, but either way, it doesn't matter. I'm here to give you guys gameplay. And yeah, so this is the tracking segment, and then it's going to cut to the uh, flicking segment as well. I cut the training modes a little bit shorter. They are about a minute each, and I'm not gonna bore you guys with two minutes of just straight aim lab gameplay so i cut it down for you guys to see and this is the flicking or the grid mode i prefer this one a lot 
you can go fast or slow. Slower actually builds your muscle memory a lot better than going fast. So I highly recommend to get this as soon as you get on PC. Before you play any games, use this program. It also will calculate your sensitivities. So between each game, you can have the same sense. One of the more important tips that I feel like a lot of people don't really know until they get on PC is that between each game, you Ball should X. try to have the, the same sense. So the same six. centimeters per 360, Rip, especially better. if you're coming from Zim, it'll help you a lot with transferring over that muscle yeah. memory from the Zim to well, the actual know, PC. Delicious. I'm gonna make a video soon on how to actually convert a sense from one game to the other. So keep a lookout for that. As we start to get to the end of this video, I'm going to be giving out a few more tips, but we are slowly but surely starting to get to the end. So if you guys could really hit that bell notification icon and subscribe and like this video, it would mean a lot to me. Last but not least, remember that you can always use your Zim on PC. I'm gonna be making another tutorial on that as well, but you can use your Zim on PC if you are not ready to make the switch to PC controls, but you want to have PC graphics or PC FOV, anything that is PC related, you can use your Zim on. This isn't really a tip, but one of the fun things about switching to PC is that a lot of content creators use PC for Siege and other games, so you actually have a chance of getting in their game. For example, I got into FaZe Yummy's game earlier, I think this was about a couple days ago, but I still thought it was a really cool experience because coming from console, I've never gotten to a YouTuber's game before. I included a short little clip of Yummy actually killing me, sadly, but here's the clip. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of uh, FaZe Yummy killing me, but that's going to wrap up this video. If I did anything wrong in this video or I didn't give a tip that you wanted, let me know in the comment section down below and I will make sure to make a video on it. I tried to make this video one of my best videos that I've made in a while and I hope it stands true to that, but either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.